Hello everyone, Creative Venus here. So today we will learn how to create some beautiful patterns. And these are some random patterns that we have designed using PowerPoint. So in the PowerPoint you can use lines and curves and shapes to create this beautiful digital art type of thing. And you can use these to showcase your diagrams, your pointers, and you can use it in the form of background. You can always fill some nice colors in it to create a beautiful visual effect you can use these patterns in, uh, in your logos like this or you can create some nice illustration like this so so it depends upon your creativity and imagine imagination and you can always try to use the patterns to create beautiful things so in today's tutorial we will learn how to create these so before moving further please subscribe to our channel join the membership hit like and share this video with your friends and colleagues so let's begin with the blank slide go to insert and let's pick some random shape here so we will pick this curve and let's draw a random curve so we have drawn this curve now let's change the outline color so we will pick this gradient line, change the type to path and remove the, this last gradient stop. We only need three gradient stops. On the first gradient stop, let's pick this purple color and you can change the color as per your requirement. On the second, let's pick this blue and we do not need this third as we have to increase its transparency to 100%. And now the curve is ready so this is a curved line and now you need to remember the trick here what I'm going to tell you to create a beautiful pattern for that you need to press ctrl D and you can press it multiple times like this and now press ctrl A to select all these curved lines and then press ctrl G to group and here is the end result you can see this beautiful pattern and let's view it in the slideshow mode and you can see it looks really beautiful and now you will say what's the use of it so you can use it in your backgrounds too and it looks beautiful so for example if you want to showcase some pointer or text on your screen so you can draw this shape change the color to white apply shadow effect increase the transparency and blurness and you can write some text over it for example so we have written creative venus increase the font size and color as well and change the font to monsteret our favorite font and also you can add some description so we will add some dummy description here and check out this slide in the slideshow mode so this is how it will look so of course we haven't polished it that much you can do some more work on this slide to make it look more beautiful but look at this the main purpose of this slide is to showcase you the background effect that you can create and now let's do one more trick here pick, let's pick a blank slide and for example you if you have you know two points to showcase like point a or point b or two types of uh, items that you want to highlight like type a and type b for that you can do this amazing trick let's pick this shape rectangle top corner surrounded draw this rectangle like this remove its fill and change the color to let's pick this blue and again if you have remembered the trick ctrl d multiple times like this ctrl a ctrl g and 
you can always press shift on a keyboard and drag it from the corners to increase or decrease its size if you will not press shift then it will look stretched or or you know out of shape so always remember to press shift while increasing or decreasing its size and always you know resize it from the corners so now keep it like this press ctrl and drag it to the right and you can always duplicate the items on your powerpoint like this while pressing ctrl you can always duplicate the items and here you can showcase those two components type a and similarly type p and you can write the descriptions here at the bottom and you can do some customizations here you can add some items over it or you can create some isometric to showcase what's type p or type a so you have to be you have to be creative here and you can try always try different things now let's do some more magic here let's draw again some shape some random shape So this looks really nice. Press Ctrl T, Ctrl A, Center, Ctrl G, you can always group it. And this looks really beautiful. Ctrl D to duplicate it, flip it horizontally, and you can match the points here. Or select both these shapes and align to top and you can create some beautiful patterns like this and then you can add some text over it like this let's change the text to uppercase increase the font size and place it at the center and you can add some description at the bottom also you can try gradient look and feel here to make it look beautiful again change the gradient path uh, gradient type to path and on the first gradient stop let's pick the purple color on the second let's go with red on the third increase the transparency to 100 percent And you can always try different things here let's do some more magic here let's change the background to dark blue and let's draw this pentagon remove its fill ctrl c and oh sorry ctrl t multiple times like this press ctrl g and slightly change the color so that it's visible and this looks really nice let's duplicate it let's flip it horizontally like this and again combine both these two and you can create some cool logo if if your brand starts with V you can always use this technique and save it as SVG right click save as picture and then here press click on SVG you can always save the vector in the SVG format and this is how you can try different things and let's change its color to gradient if you want it to be it to look more like a sci-fi thing And this is how it looks and duplicate it if you want it to be more dense and place the duplicated copy in the middle and it will look like this so 
so you can keep on trying different things and let's create one last pattern for the background again let's pick this dark blue color and let's draw a shape so this is a line we have created let's fill gradient color we only need three gradient stops on the first gradient stop let's pick blue color on the second let's pick this light blue third increase the transparency now duplicate this line control a control G duplicate this shape and flip it horizontally then flip it vertically like this and you can see here it looks really beautiful and you can see the pattern here and if you add some text here and this will look really nice I hope you like this tutorial and you uh, this 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 must be something new for you that how to create some patterns for the background or some shapes or diagrams with the with the help of these patterns so you can always try these innovative things to make your slides look good so we will see you guys in our next video till then bye bye enjoy and do not forget to subscribe to our channel and join the membership